Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So let's take a look at the energies for your next seven days. Coming towards you, three of wands, ace of cups, clarified by the knight of cups and the ace of cups once again. So major offer coming your way, double ace of cups plus the knight who can be the bearer of the ace. The offer can come from someone that has been looking around, three of wands, almost waiting for the perfect opportunity, you know, according to their expectations. Chances are you are not going to see this person coming, lightning or a quick card, sudden change, shocking news, surprise or epiphany. And this person can ask you guys out, date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, this can speak about the two of you and then plan or set a date. Take action or a quick card. Remain positive. It can be in favor of the two of you. Be assertive. We always need to manifest this or a quick card because it is an attention to the details in order to evaluate at the 100% what can be available in every situation. And then there can be the opportunity for some of you to find a compromise with this new person. Because chances are, even some of you have been looking for the opportunity to share the Ace of Cups gift with someone that can be deserving of it and also able to reciprocate it. Guys, when it comes to this combination of energies, I want to find out a little bit more about the Three of Wands because it is a standby, it's a waiting, and it's possible that, in particular, some of you right now can be busy, I want to say, and so you will have to figure out a way in order to interact with the new person that can bring forward the offer so that you can find some space for this interaction in your life, which can be particularly full at the moment, you know, full schedule for some of you. So let's see the three, here we go, Queen of Wands, highly sought after, high level of self-confidence, this is for you, so the other person is going to like you because you can shine your light at the fullest potential. Intuition is going to play a role in this situation because of the black cat but also because of the double ace of cups. And then there can be attraction, a use of swords, breaking silence, asking someone out, truth and clarity. I love the combination of energies between the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups because the Knight of Cups can be empowered, you know? The romantic gesture, the love offer, let's say, can truly be displayed in the proper way. Ten of Wands, the end of an old cycle, overwhelming, you know, with a sense of fatigue maybe involved. Also, we can think about the opportunity if the two of you already know each other, but maybe love was never a real option, someone instead was hoping for the chance to express an interest. And so the moment of relief, 10 of ones related, can come as soon as, let's say, this person of interest can express the fact that they would love to see you out on a date, let's say in a romantic way. Four of swords, introspection, silence. This is also an energy about healing. Guys, this is an encouragement to be assertive indeed and to pay attention to the details that can allow you guys to take action with this, let's say, new person, new potential romantic partner uh, that can truly be the type of the type of person that you have been looking for because chances are they have been doing the same thing and the two of you all of a sudden can see each other lightning so this is like the quote from the meet joe black movie uh, the one coming from anthony hopkins stay open a lightning could strike what is the challenge of the week the lovers ten of swords clarified by the four of wands and the ace of pentacles 
guys, I am looking at the Ten of Swords because <laughs> let's talk about a challenge. It's a crossroads, the lovers, heart of a head decision about what? About a romantic connection that is struggling with the opportunity to embrace a higher level of commitment following the Ace of Pentacles, or for others of you, an established romantic connection that can even be a marriage following the Four of Wands that, you know, can be tested big time by the Ten of Swords energy. And if it is not possible to find an agreement, it may be necessary for some of you to call it a day. It can be more than an option. It can be a sudden change. It can be a major challenge indeed. And also a transformation can follow along, even if it is linked to a shocking news, you know. Meeting someone new, uh, if that's the case, in the marriage scenario, maybe there can be an outsider, guys, that can be a source of problems, be assertive, is it possible to find a compromise? You can have a positive mindset, yes, but it takes two to tango. It takes two to take action. So, guys, I want to see the lovers at this point. Let's go for the heart of a head decision because the Ten of Swords, uh, it's a harsh energy. And there is a new dawn on the horizon, yes, but in order to move closer and closer to that new day, we have to power through a rite of passage that is no joke. Here we go for the lovers. Temperance, our compromise oracle card. Is it possible to find an agreement? Is it possible to heal the connection? Is it possible to allow the situation to embrace a higher level of commitment? If this is a desire, especially for some of you, what about your person? Are they willing to put in the effort and the work in favor of the connection? Two of swords, another crossroads. The lady is closed off. So who is the lady? Is your person the blindfolded lady? So the one who is fully blind about what can happen if they do not open up in favor of you and in favor of the opportunity for the connection to kind of overcome this major bump in the road. There can even be a choice between two people if this is somehow, some way a love triangle but there is a lot at stake. Magician, call to action, and the fool. There is going to be a conversation about the opportunity to try again, guys. This is kinda easier if we think about a connection that can struggle to embrace a higher level of commitment, because the idea to lose the connection can be a catalyst in order for the hesitant person to take responsibility and accept the call to action that can be represented by the magician. So there is the opportunity to find a compromise and an honest conversation is going to make all the difference. I am not that confident when it comes to the potential marriage, guys, because if there is a distraction or a potential outsider, it was not expected, lightning, you can become the Two of Swords Lady because you can find out something that was kept as a secret, the moon in the background. It can be difficult to find a new agreement, so you may decide to take the higher road in order to embrace a different stage of the journey, even if it means that an important connection can be left behind, guys. So it's a coin flip. One scenario can be more optimistic, let's say, the other one way more challenging. What is the surprise of the week? Judgment, page of ones, clarified by the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. This is a blast from the past, guys, truly. Lightning Oracle card. A former lover that can reach out in a friendly way, page of ones. Totally unexpected for some of you to hear from this person. They were not available in the past to do things right with you. They basically were like the warrior that we see in the Four of Cups. So the price to pay for that mindset 
was the breakup, the separation between the two of you. Now, they can say that they are available to try again and to do things in a better way. You have to be careful because this person can wear a mask following the two of swords. The lady is wearing a wolf cap. And so I want to say also this. If this person kept you guys hanging in the past, kind of waiting for something more in favor of your connection, and this something more never came, you have to be even stronger than how you can be because you may have to play the role of the one that is not really interested in the opportunity to rekindle uh, such a connection with this person. They are going to say that it's possible to find a compromise. You have to be assertive. Guys, I want to see I want to see the page of wands. As simple as the energy can be, it is flirtatious, funny, and it can try to basically warm the temperature of the room in order to kind of hope for something more to happen. Here we go. Uh, Ace of Cups, my friends. <laughs> An offer. And I love you. I missed you. I missed you so much. Seven ones. Some of you may not buy anything that can come from this person. The seven ones, the resistance. This person can try multiple times, guys. Three of ones. Some of you may have turned your back on this person because they disappointed you in the past. So you couldn't find the opportunity to amplify your inner happiness with this person by your side, unfortunately. And the decision to end the connection was basically the best possible one for you. Now this person can reach out. They can say that it is possible for the two of you to try again, but the situation doesn't seem to be meant to be, you know? And excuse me for the repetition, but you get the point still. <laughs> Eight of Cups, leaving behind an unfulfilling situation. There is the moon in the background. Uh, so even in this scenario, shenanigans, you know, something that is not quite right, something that is not clear, maybe lies in the past or unclear intentions, let's say. You have embraced the major decision to hit the road in order to pursue in a different direction your emotional fulfillment. The Ace of Cups is a gift. We have addressed it in the first scenario. At the end of the day, guys, this blast from the past can fight against the odds. If you ask me, the opportunity to turn down the offer of this former lover can be the wisest uh, decision for those of you that can resonate. You can find better. You can find better. This person, though, can even try to ask you guys out because they can be hopeful that if the two of you share a dinner, for example, then, you know, something more can happen and they can play the interaction in even a casual way, a friendly way, like nothing happened in the past, but chances are some of you remember everything and you should, you should be assertive because if you want to find fulfillment, this opportunity may not be the real one for you at this stage of the journey. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.